straight to the hook, like I said, because that that dropper loop that's a weak spot. If you tie straight to the hook with a uni knot, it's very difficult to break that. So you, ooh, there was a hit. Oh, there he is, man. There's a fish. There's a fish. Finally. He was uh, just kind of playing with it. I didn't realize he was on and I felt the slightest bump and I set the hook. What is he? Oh, that's a ling. That is a nice, oh, barely hooked, too. Okay. He could be a keeper. Oh my lord, there it is! My first ling of 2017, guys! Woo! There he is, he just barely hooked. Wow. Look at that. I don't think he's legal though. Right there. Look at those teeth. This is something you don't want to lip. Yeah, yeah, I think he's well, well under 22 inch. That's a minimum size here in Oregon. Carefully take him off. 22, let's see. He is just, he's about 20. Oh, so <laughs> close. <laughs> Look at that. Is that an awesome fish? The model pattern there. Big old teeth. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna let this puppy go. Oh, bye-bye, buddy. Gonna miss you. There he goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, guys, let me take a short break and show you the rig I was using. Um, if it looks familiar, then yes, it is the same rig I use for surf fishing. Um, so that there, that's my main line, my main braid line. Um, I have a double uni knot right here, and um, using my leader um, from here to the weight, I use about a you know four four to five foot leader. So this is not the scale, of course, but um, probably about uh, three foot down. I have my first loop, which is a dropper loop, right there, and a little bit below that, about another. Uh, probably less, maybe two feet, I have my uh, weight. Um, it's a very simple rig right there that I use for uh, fishing in the bays. Um, I use for the bay about a one ounce weight. Um, this is a cannonball sink, uh, sinker. You can use any type of sinker you want. Um, you know, uh, bank sinker, um, pyramid, disc, uh, teardrop, whatever. So roughly about a one ounce because the current is really, really rough. And I have here a uh, two, sorry, yeah, uh, num sorry, no, a two-odd hook. It's a two-odd hook. Uh, it is an eagle claw hook. So let me show you how I bait it. And for bait, I'm using power bait, um, power worms. These are the seven-inch green pumpkin. Um, these are my favorite. Um, I use these for freshwater bass as well. So to rig it on, it's pretty easy. Just take it and go straight from the top. But it's just a standard, you know, rig on the hook. Just like that. And guide it. You guide the head down the shank. And that's probably good enough right there. Want to push it down more. So that's what it looks like. Okay. Um, that's it right there. And that's the rig we were using, Tom and I. Um, again, just a standard bottom rig. <clears throat> just bouncing off the bottom, and that's how we're catching these lings. Um, all right, let's go back to the video. All right, guys, I just caught another ling. I did not have my memory card in my GoPro. I apologize. I have it in there, but it was full. And, yeah, Tom's got another one. We are sitting in a really good spot right here. This is just a baby ling. It's not very big. What does it feel like? 
Oh yeah, get him, Tom. Black rock bass. That's huge. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's about a pound and a half. Awesome. All right, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. Easy. Where is my pliers? Where is my pliers? Oops. Okay, there he goes. All right. So it is one twenty five. Yeah. All right, come on, buddy. Give me a bigger ling. I need a bigger ling. Ooh, there's a hit. There's a hit. Yeah, is that one? Is that one? Oh, that is one. Oh, Lord. Oh, jeez, jeez. Oh yeah, come on, buddy. Yeah, that's got to be a ling. That's got to be a ling. He saw the boat. He just ran. Yeah. Holy Jesus! That is a fish! Holy Jesus! Yeah, I tried to lift. Holy cow, guys! Oh my, can you grab? Easy, 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 easy. Tail, tail. Tail, oh man, he is strong. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I'm just thinking. Okay, guys. I caught probably one of my biggest ling ever. Let me try to unhook him. Okay. Yeah, he uh, he's a little mad, I think. We're okay. My biggest ling since a very well, my first biggest ling ever. Look at the size of him. <laughs> Looks like a decent size. Yeah. Woo! There we go. Could be a ling too. It might be. That's pulling like a ling. Yeah. I hear it. Yeah, that's a ling. <laughs> that is a ling. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's a ling. That's a ling. Tighten it, tighten it. What pound test you have? Find that more. Yeah, that's good right there. Really? That is a ling. You might try to stop that because he's gonna. Yeah, I think you have it underneath the. Uh... Yeah. Oh. All right, guys, let's take a break and talk about the gear I was using. Um, this is a Shimano Stratic uh, CI4 Plus, um, size 3000. Um, very awesome reel, very light, 
for those who own one and use it before you know what I'm talking about it's just ultra smooth um, pretty amazing uh, drag 20 pounds of drag very very smooth drag very hard to go wrong with Shimano drags um, and I got on 20 no sorry 30 pounds of braid the uh, Spectra braid from Amazon that's super ass cheap and works just as good as the other expensive stuff okay so real uh, Shimano Stratic CI4 plus 3000 um, rod uh, Cabela's XML uh, let me turn that around um, Cabela's XML uh, 6 foot 6 and I have a tape here 6 foot 6 Cabela's XML it is rated uh, medium heavy um, I believe 6 to 17 something like that but it's my favorite bass rod I use it all the time for fresh water and salt water um, it's a very light combo it's um, both for the uh, setup here is well under one pound for the whole system here so yep there it is that's the hardware okay let's go back to the videos There's a fish. Oh, mother. Come on, get to be a copper. Don't come off, baby. After about an hour and a half of fishing, it feels pretty good. Yeah, come on, what are you? What? Are, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Double. That would be nice. Wait. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, that's a ling. Check that out. That's a nice one. Oh, no, he's too small to be a keeper. He's got some beautiful color on him. Yeah. I thought he pulled like a ling. He saw that boat. He wants to go. Come on, buddy. Just want to say hi. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> huh? Nice. Yeah, he just, was it 22 inch? Yeah. Yeah, he's not quite 22, but let's weigh him out. He's a check out the color on that guy. So, you know there's lanes here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is one guy you don't want to lip at all because they have nothing but teeth. There he is guys, check out that ling. Got him on the power bait uh, power worm, 7 inch, and he's bleeding. We're gonna hurry and get him back in the water. I don't think it's legal. He's gonna be exactly 19, so they gotta be 22, but we're gonna let him go right now. There he is, nice color. Okay buddy. There he goes! Yes! Awesome! 